Hi guys. Hi, my dear intermediate BIPC students, MPC students, NEET aspirants, as well as IIT, JE aspirants. And also their parents. Good morning to all. This is Mr. Bhanumurthy Sharma, senior physics faculty member in Hyderabad. I have uh, 28 years of teaching experience in physics. So I'm having this request, I started tutorial in my own house in the year 19, uh, in the year 2018. Since then it is running very, very well. Good response is coming from the students. So in the last video class, uh, introduction class, on February, on um, August 15th, uh, 2022, I presented one video class, introduction video class, uh, the YouTube channel. You please go through that channel. That was only introduction um, video. Now, I told you that at that time, I told you that I will take uh, five video classes to you, conceptual oriented classes. Now, this is the first video class. So I'm going to conduct. My dear students, I'm conducting a NEET coaching as well as IAT, JE coaching, especially in physics. Um, I'm conducting four batches, four to five batches. In the morning hours, 4.30 to 5.30, long-term batch, 5.30 to 6.30, another long-term batch. Say so one is NEET batch, one is IAT batch. In the evening hours, I'm taking three long-term matches from 6.30 to 7.30, 7.30 7.30 7.30 to 8.30, 8.30 to 9.30. Like that, three long-term matches I'm conducting. So total five long-term matches I'm taking uh, every day. My dear students and parents, if you like all these five videos, my conceptual video classes to you. If you like them, you please share, subscribe, all those videos then press the bell button okay you can contact uh, these numbers in the office timings between morning 9 a.m to evening 4 p.m in the early morning classes i will be busy i will be in classes in the evening also i will be in classes so it's better to contact me during office time from 9 to 4 okay a day because I'm not working in any institution. I don't want to disturb your college timings. So that is the reason why I started tutorial in the early morning hours as well as evening hours. Okay. Now this is the first video class uh, to you. I'm projecting conceptual oriented. Okay. So remember one point, uh, uh, neat entrance examination and IAD. We are well, very well experienced staff, faculty members. We know how to project uh, the concepts, how to project applications, how to give, uh, how to solve numerical solutions to the students. I will take care of the students in each and every batch, nearly 15 to 20 students only I'm taking. So, so that uh, much more concentration will be um, uh, will be allotted to, will be, be uh, kept uh, on the students and some imposition problems also will be given to you. Uh, then some homework problems also will be given. Generally, every day my uh, the teaching techniques, uh, some of the key points of this institution, I'm telling you now, before to give the video class. Key points of this institution is uh, really every day, first five minutes drilling class will be conducted. Five minutes means whatever the topics we discussed in the uh, yesterday's or cumulative type syllabus. So very first beginning, first five minutes drilling on those topics. What topics we discussed, what type of formulas we discussed, what concepts we discussed. So we can uh, drill every day five minutes. Okay, this is one of the main key points of this institution, right? Second point is imposition. Every day some imposition problems will be given to the students after the class. Okay. And uh, I will prepare the students to do 
thus um, problems numerical solutions in the class on their own. I will make the students like that. So in the last class uh, introduction video class, I already mentioned that. So with my teaching, okay, even ordinary student also can be cherished. Okay, can be enthusiastically they can hear the classes. So my way of teaching in that. Okay, so you can observe through my video classes how the way of teaching, what is the expression, how far the students are understanding my conceptuals. You can observe all those points. After observing those videos, videos you if you want, uh, if you are interested to join here, then only no force at all, no pressure at all. If you are interested to join here, then you contact those members. Okay. Now let us quickly let us go to video class number one, conceptual class. First of all, in the first class, I am going to project only fundamentals. Okay. On fundamentals only, I am giving conceptuals, right? Okay, just wait. Now I am giving to you. Uh, okay. Right now. So this is a board. Whiteboard I am using now, Marcus. Marcus as well as whiteboards I am using. Okay. Now this is the first concept, equilibrium concepts. In video class number one, equilibrium concepts. Remember that uh, nearly 5 to 10 percent in entrance examinations, either it may be NEET or IIT, in nearly 5 to 10 percent of the problems may come from these concepts. Okay, equilibrium conceptual video class one pieces. Okay, now listen to it. Uh, actually, there are so many types of equilibrium concepts. So many types of equilibrium. One is static equilibrium. Static equilibrium means what? Suppose if there is a body, number of forces acting on that from different directions. So from upward direction, from downward direction, left side, right side, so many forces will be acted on the body. And they try to keep the body in equilibrium. Equilibrium in the sense of rest position, station. Okay. Even though number of forces are acting on the body, simultaneously from different directions, the body will be at rest. The net force becomes T. That is the meaning of static equilibrium. Net force is zero, okay, and the net acceleration is zero according to Newton's second law. Okay, f equals to mv. If f equals to zero, automatically a becomes zero, right? Okay, then velocity also zero in static. Remember this uh, point, my dear students. Aspirants, neat aspirants as well as uh, IIT aspirants. Even though resultant force is zero, acceleration is zero. If velocity also in zero, that equilibrium is called as static equilibrium. If the speed, the speed must be zero, means the body should be at rest position, should not move with some speed. Okay. So this is a one, one of the examples to explain the most static equilibrium. Now I'm taking one body, one block of mass m, and pressing the block towards the wall. So it is pressed against a vertical wall. Then with a the finger, okay? With a finger, I am pressing the block against the vertical. If I remove the finger, what happens? The block falls down. But here, remember one point, the block is not sliding down. It is not slipping. It is sticking onto the wall. It is not falling down, not slipping down. Why? Well, this is due to two balancing forces. What are those? Frictional force, contact force between the wall and the block. Between the wall and the block, contact force will be upward. That is frictional force. That frictional force balances with the weight of the block. Okay, so block mass is given G value 10 meters per second square roughly, then F equals to mg. This is a concept I written already there. Already I prepared those concepts to you. Okay, so F equals to mg, but F is a, uh, nothing but a frictional force. It's the product of uh, mu and uh, finger force. I am pronouncing 
that f as a finger force. Actually, it is normal force. So, for the sake of the students to understand easily, I'm using that word finger force. So, mu times finger force is nothing but frictional force. Okay, frictional force balances with h. This is concept number one. Now, let us go to second concept quickly. Now, the same law is, or another law, whatever it may be, mass, it is pressed between two hands, between two walls. Suppose this is the pen, it's a block. Now, I am pressing this block with two hands, first hand and second hand, like this. Now, I, you can understand clearly, okay? Now, I am pressing this block with two hands. So, even if I remove one of the hands, one of the hands, then the block slides down. Is it correct? Right. So, even though the block is pressed between two hands, in between two hands, so it is pressed between two hands uh, or two walls, the block is not falling because two frictions are acting in the uh, upward direction. So, first friction, contact force up to this wall and second friction, contact force to the second wall. So, two frictions are acting upward direction. So, this friction and this friction acting in the upward direction. Some of those two frictional forces balances with weight of the block. So, if the forces balance each other, so balance condition is equilibrium, then the block does this. Okay, this is finger force I told already. So, 2 times friction is equal to mg, but friction is nothing but uh, mu times the finger force I told you, okay? Right. From this relation, what do you ask in examination? Find the finger force. Find the normal force. Okay? Suppose if normal force is given to you, capital F is given to you, you can calculate mu and what is mu coefficient of friction. So, in, whenever you get that chapter, friction chapter, you can get that information in detail. Okay, right? Mu, about mu factor. Okay. Now, these two concepts related to equilibrium. What equilibrium? Static. Right? Now, I am going to end, uh, this, uh, explain uh, a rotational dynamic. What is the meaning of dynamic? Static is of now dynamic. Means here also forces will be there on the particle or body. Some forces will be there. Some upward, some downward, right side, left side. So, number of forces will be there acting on the part. But, net force becomes zero in this case. So, action equal to minus reaction like that. They cancel. Net force is zero. Net acceleration also is zero because Newton's second law. But, speed is there. Speed will be there. Even though forces are acting and cancelling themselves, even though net acceleration is zero, the body may be moving with some speed. It is not at rest. So, even though under the influence of net force zero, the body moves with some speed. That type of equilibrium. What speed that is? Equilibrium. Uniform speed. Uniform speed. So, the particle moves with uniform velocity under the influence of zero force. Okay. So, this velocity also is considered here. This is this type of equilibrium is called as dynamic equilibrium. Particularly, rotational dynamic equilibrium means a particle, uh, 1 ruby coin or 50 NB coin, whatever it may be, having some mass. Okay. So, this 1 ruby coin is placed at the corner of a rotating turntable. Rotating turntable in the sense, you can, I can see you now, I can never show you. This is the table. Now the table is rotating. Table is rotating. This is called rotating turntable, right? So, rotating turntable is this. On this table, I am placing one rupee coin of having some mass. Even though the rotating turntable is rotating with some maximum angular speed, even though rotation increases, the coin does not fall, does not skid. In. Okay, why? What is the reason? Equilibrium. What is that? So it experiences two forces. I represent it here. This coin experiences two forces. 
One is frictional force between the coin and the table friction. Second one is what? Centripetal force. You know the concept. So frictional force balances with centripetal force. These two forces are equal in magnitude. Of course, it is. It is that the net force becomes zero, net acceleration becomes zero on this particle. But the particle is moving along with rotating the table. Right? So here, what well, how can you what is the angular speed? What is the angular speed of the rotating turntable at which the coin does not speed? Maximum speed we want from this concept. So frictional force means mu times mg. Mg means finger force, I told you no. Finger force is mg, right? So mu times mg is equal to m omega square centripetal force. That is uh, in lower classes, we discussed that part. Okay, number of times we revised. Centripetal force of mar omega square, where omega is angular velocity, r is the radius of the turn tip, right? Now let us go to another concept, which is called as uh, thermodynamic equilibrium. So static equilibrium over, rotational dynamic equilibrium is so over. Now we are discussing thermodynamic equilibrium. What is it? It is a heat related topic. So this is a cylinder, a cylindrical vessel, I can step, containing gas particles and some piston. Piston means a type of lid. Okay? So it can be moved freely up and down. Frictionless piston, right? Okay. Now we are producing, we are providing some heat. We are um, supplying some heat through flame, whatever it may be, source, heat source. So some heat is given to the system. Now what happens? The piston is moving up and down by absorbing the heat, right? Then gas particles are moving up or to, uh, to and fro like that. They are moving randomly. Kinetic energy increases, potential increases, internal energy increases. You know all those things. Now I don't want to go to that subject. Now here, equilibrium analysis. Now, whenever the heat is supplied, gas particles move and try to push the piston upwards. Try to push the piston upwards. Okay. Now piston is moving up. Down. It is moving up due to this air part. But at the same time, it is coming down. It, at the same time, it is coming down due to atmospheric pressure from top. So one atmospheric pressure also is there outside the piston. Inside the piston, no pressure is there. Outside the piston, atmospheric pressure is there. That is given 10 to the power of 5 Pascal. So two pressures are there for this system. So inside the pressure is more than house. Remember this. So inside pressure molecules are more closely packed. No? So the pressure increase is more inside that. Okay. So P greater than P at mass. Right. So what I'm trying to tell you here. The piston is in equilibrium moving up and down, up and down. See, moving up and down. So due to these two pressures, this pressure tries to move pull up, this pressure tries to push down like that. Piston moves up and down. After some time, what happens? The piston comes to an equilibrium position. Equilibrium position. So it is at rest position, thermodynamically. After oscillation, after some oscillations, oscillations, oscillation, then it comes to equilibrium. I think you understood. Once it is in equilibrium, find out the pressure exerted by the gas. That is the question. All values are given. Piston mass given, piston area is piston area given, piston mass is given, atmospheric pressure is given, small g value given. What he is asking? Find the pressure exerted by the gas. So what concept we have to consider? Equilibrium, thermodynamic equilibrium concept. What is that? Free body diagram. To explain this concept, free body diagram I am considering. Okay, free body diagram means what? This system contains three bodies. One is cylinder, first body. Second body, gas. Third body, piston. Three bodies are 
Now I am selecting this step, first board or whatever. One of the board is I am cancelling. I am taking out of the system. I am taking that body out of the system. Means I am taking this body out of the system. It is only exemption, imagination. We cannot take the piston outside actually. Just imagine. So pre-body diagram. Let this body be free. Isolated. It is isolated from the system. Just imagination. Once it is isolated here, separated from the system, now this system, what is the meaning of FBD? I am telling the points now, FBD points. First, the body is to be isolated, okay, separated. Second, how many forces are acting on the body? We have to check it. How many forces are there? One force due to atmosphere, down. Second force, weight of the piston, down. Two forces, down. And air is exerting upward pressure. Like this, air inside exerts upward pressure. So upward pressure is that is F2. So F1 is down, Mg is down, F2 is down. Three forces are acting on the body. First, we have to isolate the body, the system. Then, number of forces, we have to check it. How many forces are there? Three. Okay. What forces are downward? What forces are upward? We have to check. Right. Next. Third point of FPD is, we have to find out result. Equilibrium condition we have to write. Some of the downward force is equal, some of the upward So why the piston is at rest position? Because of balancing. Right? So some of these two downward force, one down, weight down, and is equals to upward force. I'm balancing the condition. Okay. If the forces are balanced each other, net force becomes zero, expression becomes zero. The piston will be at rest. Neither moves, nor moves down, it remains at rest. So, this is called as thermodynamical equilibrium. From this concept, we can calculate pressure of the gas. So, everything is given. The atmosphere can go for A, uh, 2 centimeters square. Of course, we can convert into meter square. Then, mass given, mass of the piston is given. A G can value, then area given. You can find out pressure of the gas. So from this equilibrium concept. So finally, my students, my dear students, I think everybody is putting the concentration, I think. So all students and parents know that. So students and parents are listening carefully. They are spell bonding with us. Okay. Because my teaching methodology will be like that. I will come down to the students level. So, I will check the psychologically, I will observe the student's mind. I will study the student's mind whether they are understanding or not. Then, according to them, I will mold, mold myself. So, I will come down to the student's level. So, basic level, fundamental level, and then I guess. Okay. So, my dear students, uh, this is the information in the first video class. Four concepts I given to you. These first two. Or standing on uh, what concept? Uh, equilibrium concept. Static equilibrium. Resulting in force zero. Acceleration is zero. Velocity also zero. Rest of the Okay, station. Now the second one is dynamic equilibrium. Means thermal rotational dynamic. Right? Now, in this case, net force is zero. Friction balance is in centripetal. Net force is zero, net acceleration is zero, but speed will be there. That speed we are calculating. Okay. At maximum angular speed, even fan also rotating. If you place one uh, chart piece, piece or blade, whatever it may be, if you put one, this pen also on one of the blades and put on the switch on the fan, then what happens first slowly rotates after some time speed increases. Now, condition is even speed increases. Speed of the fan increases rotation. The pen should not fall. So then, what is the maximum speed of the fan at which the pen does not fall? That is the top. So frictional force balancing. 
So this is rotational dynamic. Now here point is taken, rotating turn table is taken. You can select fan and pen one. Okay. Now third one is thermodynamic equilibrium. So piston by the after, after some oscillations by the that rest position means three forces are acting on the piston. First, it is to be isolated, free body diagonal, by with the help of free body diagonal. With the help of free body diagonal, one set, we can explain what is the equilibrium of the piston. We can find the pressure exit by the gas. So this is my first video class. I don't want to disturb you. I don't want to apply an external force on you, my dear students. You please observe my brochures there, okay? My contact numbers. So I am conducting neat entrance coaching as well as the ATT entrance coaching in this way. For this one, the introduction point, only demo classes, these are. Uh, you feel that these are demo classes, okay? After listening this video courses, if you like them, then share it, okay? Share all these videos. Tomorrow also I'm going to project second video class in some depth. Okay, this is fundamental video class. Now in depth, I go step by step. My way of approachment, first, easiest step. Second step to somewhat tough. Next step, application type. Like that, we can grow. So our peak graph level should be um, in a higher level. Should grow gradually, exponentially. All of us can grow exponentially, step by step. So my dear students and parents, my coaching is six months coaching. From if I start from September onward, first onwards, I'm going to start the class September 1st, uh, 2022. Okay, this is a kind information to you. Uh, till then, you observe my video classes and regularly I will project uh, all those video classes to you. Okay, if you are interested, then only you can ask, you can join. So, no force is on. Okay, choice is yours. Afterwards, uh, I'm conducting four, uh, five batches morning, two batches, evening, uh, three batches. According to your convenience, you can join in any batch, okay, now? So morning 4.30 to 5.30 batch, 5.30 to 6.30 batch. And evening hours, 6.30 to 7.30, 7.30 to 8.30, 8.30 to 9.30. According to your convenience, you can join. Because physics is a common subject to all meet students, aspirants, as well as IEPs. It's a common subject, both batches, okay? So all these five long-term batches I'm protecting. So it is uh, the information I'm giving to regular intermediate students as well as long-term students. Those who are studying by PC as well as PC. Okay, my dear boys, students, and parents, um, tomorrow I'm going to project another video class, which is based on law of conservation of linear momentum and angular momentum. That is third and fourth class. Of course, tomorrow also I'm projecting Conceptual oriented, equilibrium conceptual oriented problems. Okay, five, six uh, concepts I will project you tomorrow because these are fundamental concepts. Now, tomorrow, very interesting concepts you can uh, listen to it. Okay, so <clears throat> this is my teaching technology. Okay, teaching methodology. So, fundamentals, formulas, um, conceptuals, then uh, um, solving the numerical problems and previous uh, entrance uh, problems, chapter models. Suppose we are discussing first chapter. In After discussing this first chapter models, nearly 20 models we can discuss. Okay, in every chapter, not more than 20 models. Okay, 20, 25 models. We can, we can discuss all those. After that, we can go through entrance point. Previous entrance point questions, what type of questions they are asking Okay, so we can discuss every day, first to five minutes, drilling class, whatever the topics we discussed in the last class and day before the exit classes, the two, three days before what we discussed, we can uh, drill all those. Then we can enter into a fresh job, fresh topic. So this is the information I want to present in first video class, my dear students and parents. Okay, so I'm not working in any institution. And uh, students, I am not applying any force on. This is a pressure-free education, friendly education. Okay? After uh, um, college timings, okay, beyond college timings, you can go anywhere now. Okay, no pressure at all. So early morning hours and evening hours. It's all 
just for you and we are serving you that's all okay our duty is to serve you your duty is to listen carefully your duty is to gain the subject okay so do hard work be regular be honest do hard work then success will come to you okay bye see you in the next video class bye bye